Hi, this is Adil Zuvei from Superpower Solutions, and today with me, it's Jean Ginsberg from Ginball.net. Hi, Jean. How hey, are you today? Hey, how good. How are you doing? Very good. Jean, I have a question for you today. Um, how to be razor sharp in Facebook targeting? Basically, what I mean by razor sharp is that there's, there, there are two elements of a, of a stage show. Uh, the show itself, the performance and the preparation which goes behind the performance and a lot of thinking scripting which goes behind the performance so how i know going out and doing ads on facebook is the performance but how do you decide which target to go after and and in what way how do you strategize all that thing what are the tools we can use to do that off to you Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so I, w I actually did a, we did a video um, recently that you can probably find on your, on our YouTube channel about Facebook targeting. And we talked about interest because one of the main things that I find when I talk to potential customers or even current customers that I've recently started an engagement with is that they are running Facebook ads, but they are not finding the ROI. And I think the main issue that I have learned you know, after auditing um, these clients or potential clients Facebook accounts that they're not targeting as specifically and as precisely, um, and it, it's kind of broad, and that usually causes issues with Facebook, and that's typically why they're not seeing the ROI um, mm -hmm. on their Facebook spend. And so one of the tools that is actually within Facebook um, that I think is great for, for targeting and for doing research is called Audience Insights. So that is data from Facebook. It's not a third-party data tool. It is um, designed by Facebook, and it so basically takes all of their data and um, allows you to do some initial research, um, which I think is very helpful for for doing targeting. So once you are, you can go, you can get into Audience Insights by going to your business.facebook.com account, and under Planning, there is you'll see an, uh, under the Planning tab, you'll see Audience Insights, and so once you click on that, you'll get to a screen where you can put in um, the, any additional information that you want to get started. So right. you can put in you know, people's demographics or people's age. Um, typically, I start with an interest. And so when I um, yeah, do planning interest. for my clients, yeah. <laughs> when I do cl uh, planning for my clients for their Facebook ads, um, I usually find a public figure or maybe a blog that is, you know, that's very common. <laughs> superpower, superpower solution. Yay. Um, yeah, so I find an interest or public figure that's very common in that, you know, in that field. So for for this example, I'm going to use Frank Kern. So Frank Kern, as probably a lot of you know, is a public figure in the digital marketing space, and he has, you know, he has a newsletter, he has a website, he has courses. So he is, you know, he's very well known in our digital marketing space. So I put in his name, and so from that, I was given a ton of information about. Uh, other individ uh, individuals who like uh, Frank Kerr. So I was able to get information like demographic information, just like age and gender, um, and you know the kinds of uh, work that they do. So usually like some sort of work category, um, job title type of thing. So that's under demographics. If you go under page likes, I think that's the page that really, really gets very important when you want to do targeting. So. Um, under under page likes, the first thing you'll see is going to be top categories. So these are top categories for page likes. So it could be like news or media, or you know, news publications, uh, magazines, public figures. So it gives you other inter like information about those individuals who like Frank Kern, who like other things. So like that's really good targeting, right there. So I would use that as as part of your interests for for targeting Facebook ads. And then on the bottom, you'll see page likes. And it gives you like relevance. So one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Based on Frank Kern, what are the other, you know, likes or page likes that these individuals have? So also really good. You can use that in your Facebook targeting and put that under interest. So those are, I'd say, under page likes. So that's the key points uh, where you want to do most of your research and find out what do individuals who like Frank Kern also like? What other page pages on Facebook? And then additionally, there's like location, activity, so activity, like how often are they active on Facebook, mm -hmm. household information, so like household size, household income, and purchase data. So that's usually from third-party data, um, but it gives you any sort of 
previous purchase information about those individuals. So that is audience insights, and that is key for doing your planning and targeting for, for your Facebook ads. So please, please be sure to use that when you are creating your Facebook ads and doing the targeting, because that is crucial in getting your ROI to be positive. Right. So that is audience insights. Any, do you have any questions? Mm, no, I think that was very okay. informative and uh, Okay, useful. great. All right. Thank you very Thank much, you so Jean. much. Right. Uh, uh, viewers, don't forget to click like or subscribe to the channel. And if you have any question for us to cover in the next upcoming videos, comment below, please. See you. Bye. Thanks.